That's a really good question. How do you know what is the constraints of your YouTube channel? Honestly, exposure. Exposure to higher levels of skill. Exposure to other people's beliefs, mindsets, practices, processes, other people's questions. This is why I think like a community like this is so awesome. Like you've just watched someone else get a lesson from me and that's something that you can take away as well. And maybe there was something you saw in his video or someone else, you know, they post it into the community post and you think, oh damn, I don't do that. Like he's got this other thing. He's trying this. He mentioned this tactic he uses. So, um, it, like to give you a general rule, if you just obsess over the concept of like getting better at the skill of making videos, getting better at all skills involved, the storytelling, maybe the editing, you know, the, the, a little bit of like the framing camera stuff can help as well in being intriguing, your charisma, your ability to speak. Um, if you obsess over these skills, naturally you'll begin to like, you know, read into them, watch the YouTube video tutorials on how to be more charismatic. And that's when I'll pick up to you thinking, damn, like maybe my, maybe my, um, my social skills are constraints. You know, the how to win friends talks about smiling and I'm making this happy video, but I'm there still being like angry or like, and it just hits you like, oh yeah, that's probably it. It's like my personality, maybe my emotions, maybe it's my, my storytelling. That's like the over overall general rule that I'll give you. I'm trying to think back to like a specific time that I've figured out a constraints. Because for me personally, it's never been like the conventional YouTube advice. It's never been looking at the analytics and being like, oh man, you know, this CTR is 2.3%. Like that's a great way to be a, like a basic YouTuber and to like cap out at like 10, 50K subs. But I think obsessing over those metrics does more harm than good, especially for smaller YouTubers, in my opinion even for larger YouTubers, actually. Um, yeah, I can't think of a specific example, but I know that so many times I've had the same thing where it's like pretty much your views are like kind of consistent. If you looked at like your monthly views, um, you know, from last year or for whenever, and you see every month and it's been kind of like the same for one month, two months, three months or something. And when I've, let me, let me show you mine actually. I'll show you like the absolute peak we were on. Um, Yeah, so have a look at this. So it's a shame it doesn't go any longer, but just before this moment here in June 2022, we had like more of a dip. So it was actually higher in uh, in May. So th that was the first month my view count ever went down. First ever time it ever went down. And I started panicking about this. I saw, saw it whilst I was in Thailand and I was like, okay, I'm just being a degenerate here. I don't even know why I'm here. I've got goals, I've got passion, purpose. Why am I here? So I ended up moving back home and it was here where I set like some intentions to get here. Like this, see this rise here was perfectly planned. It was actually exactly the, um, the goal that I had set myself to double my view count by the end of the year, which is exactly like perfectly what we hit. What did I do in between these times? Biggest things, honestly, when you see the videos that I was posting, let's say about here is when it's really kicking off. You can see the videos I'm posting are like the ones that people are more likely to click on. It is like these, you know, little clickbait chat GBT ones. I hired a guy who was literally just making these videos for me and it turned out that was the, the constraints. It turns out like the videos I was making here with my own... Um, my own sort of mindset, you know, my own thoughts. Like if you read the titles, just you, any good YouTuber knows that these titles are not going to fucking perform. Like they're, they're not going to get more v like views or anything like that. So this was me just going with this authenticity. You know, these are the titles I'm thinking of. And then soon you can see when I hired someone for it, you'll see like the first moments. Uh, yeah. About here was the first time I hired someone. And from there, although a slight dip there, there was a huge rise. So that was like the biggest rise for me was realizing that the constraint was simply just the titles that we were using and maybe the thumbnails because they changed a little bit as well. It's hard to give like a, a specific tip on how you can always be vigilant. What I will just say is like by how much you naturally love YouTube, that will help. And just make sure you're constantly learning. Make sure you always believe that it's not luck to level up and to get views, but rather it is absolutely a formula. So it, it'd be a good belief for you to have that every video you post deserves to get that many views 
and that if you want to get more views, there is an absolute like formula for you to follow. There's things that you can improve on that will get you more views. And usually you can just go and look at the videos that have got a lot of views and just start to copy some things that they're doing better than you.